If you don't have the time or budget to have a professionally designed HTML email produced for your campaign, uh, but you want something a bit more than a plain text email, a lot of you may turn to Microsoft Word for producing your email content. Now, whilst I strongly recommend using a professionally designed HTML email or even just a normal plain text email, if you're not in that position, I appreciate a lot of you are quite comfortable in Microsoft Word. I'm going to show you how you can import your Word produced email directly into Email Me yet. Now, before I get into this, it may help if you've seen the previous video tutorial on how to send pre designed HTML emails, as a lot of the same principles apply here. I'm going to demonstrate first using Microsoft Word 2007 in Windows XP, which is what I have here. And then also quickly show any Mac users out there how it's done in Microsoft Word 2008 on Mac OS X. Um, here I have a campaign set up in Email Me and it's ready for me to define content. And here I have um, my actual email content I've created using Microsoft Word. And just as an aside, it's important that if you're in Microsoft Word 2007 uh, and you open a Word document that you've not created from scratch um, in Word 2007, say it's been created in an older version of Word and it's a .doc file, you need to ensure that you save it into the current Word 2007 format, which is .docx. And this is important if you're using personalization tags, because um, if you find that your personalization tags aren't working in email yet, this could be the issue. We can see this is an older version of uh, Word. This document is an older version of Word because Word 2007 is saying that we're in compatibility mode. So let's just go ahead and do a save as. We'll just save that as an actual up-to-date Word document file. Okay. Um, so now that we're actually using a uh, an actual .docx file, um, the, the, basically what we're going to do is we're actually going to export this Word document as an HTML file. Um, and if you've got any images in here, such as the logo that we're using down here, um, we'll also get a folder um, produced alongside the HTML file, which will contain any images that we've used in the Word document. Before we actually export as an HTML file, what we need to do is we actually need to set what's called the encoding of the HTML page. Um, and I'll show you how to do this. We first need to go to the Office button and then go to Word Options. And then under here we need to go to the Advanced pane and scroll right the way down until we see the heading General. And under here we want the actual Web Options. We then need to go to the Encoding tab. We need to change Western European to what's called Unicode brackets UTF-8. So hit OK and hit OK again. And we're now actually ready to export our Word document as an HTML file. So let's go ahead and do this. Again, go to the Office button, Save As. And under Save As type, we'll just change that to Web Page. Now, if we then go to our desktop, what we'll see we find is we've got one document here, which is the actual HTML file, and an actual folder, which again contains any, any images and any other files that have been reference to by the actual HTML document. What we'll do with this folder is we need to zip it up, so we'll right click it and go send to compress zip folder and that will create a single file um, which is an actual zip file. We're now ready to actually import the content into Email Me yet. so if we go back into Email Me yet, and if we then click on our campaign that we've started to set up and we want to define the content, obviously we want to use HTML, so let's go select HTML and hit next we're going to import the campaign from our computer and we now need to stipulate the location of our HTML file so if we hit browse and we can identify the actual HTML file by the fact that it's got the HTML icon with the word logo on top of it so we'll select that file and then for the zip format here we've got the actual folder with the zip icon on the left and now we're ready to get our campaign Email Meet will then import these files into the system and we can now actually preview the campaign from within Email Me App. And here we can see that the personalization tag has been used. Um, don't worry if the image doesn't come through, this is a, a, a known issue with Internet Explorer and Windows. Uh, it will come through when you actually send the campaign. If we then click Next, uh, we can import our text content from the HTML file. And that's how you import content from Word into Email Me Yet in Microsoft Word 2007 under Windows XP. Let me quickly show you how Mac users can achieve the same uh, effect in Microsoft Word 2008 for Mac OS X. If I just switch to my Mac OS X environment. So here we've got the campaign set up in Email Me Yet. We just go ahead and edit that content. 
and again yep same setup so it's an HTML email and we're going to import the campaign from our computer on my desktop I've got the same word document uh, and in this particular case um, we need to go to web options which should be under word and then preferences if we go to the general tab and here we'll see the same web options um, option and if we hit encoding and go to Unicode UTF-8 so the same formatting and we're now ready to uh, export this as an HTML file there's actually a single um, option under uh, save as web page which is under the file menu if we select that we can then ensure that the format is set to your web page and simply save and again just like in Windows we'll get two files appear so one is the actual HTML file another one is again the folder with uh, any images that we're referencing in the HTML file again if we just right click that and this time we're just going to say yep compress it and that creates our zip folder if we go back into email me yep, and here we can just again stipulate the location of the HTML file and again the zip file get the campaign and here we can preview the campaign just make sure it came through alright yep here the personalization tags being used and the image does actually appear in the uh, in the Mac version and once we're happy with that hit next again you can import the content from the HTML and your campaign is now ready to be have its recipients defined and to be sent and that is how you import content from Word 2008 into email me yet.